Hey everybody, thanks for joining me with the channel again this week. This week we're going to try DIY acrylic pour art. As you can see, this is my outcome. Stick through the video and you'll see how I was able to create these three pieces of art. Thanks for joining me and I hope you like the video. Okay, so here are our supplies for this week. These canvases I found at the Dollar Tree and they were already pre-decorated, but since they didn't have any plain white ones, I decided that they wouldn't be a good substitute. You wanna just go ahead and separate your different cups and add one of the popsicle sticks to it. That way you can stir the paint when it's time. Now this is the paint that I started off trying to use. It's a Crayola acrylic paint. But I am going to tell you that I did not get the best result using this paint. So the paint that you'll see later on in the video is what I would suggest. So the white paint, as you can see, was really chunky, really thick, and was a lot harder to come out of the tube than, say, this blue that I uh, got from that same pack. Six colors that came in the Crayola pack of acrylic paint was white, blue, yellow, red, black and brown I decided just to use uh, the five colors because I didn't want the brown to make it too muddy so as you can see here I just went with the white red yellow blue and black now these colors do turn out a pretty a pretty picture at the end but I will say and you'll see this later on in the video because the white was so thick even though I added the soapy dish water to it to thin it out it still left chunks in the white and that did transfer onto the painting now I'll leave it up to you guys to judge at the end whether it added more kind of character to the painting or whether you think it would have looked better without the the actual extra bumps to it but I don't think it turned out too bad. So here I just started adding the soapy dish water to the paint and then stirring to try to thin it out. And you just want to keep adding water to the paint until it gets kind of a runny consistency. Now I will say with this being my first try at it, I can definitely look back and say that I did not add enough water to them this time. Because you'll see when I try to do the first actual pour, it did not start to free flow as much as it should have. So you want it to be a little bit more on the runny side, not the thick side. And if you do end up adding a little bit too much water, Feel free to add more paint to the mixture because you want to try to get your ratio just right so that the pour will end up turning out correctly. Okay, so here I just went ahead and started to add my paints to a separate cup. That way I could start fresh. Looking back, I could have just gone ahead and added the colored paints to the white paint and saved on a cup but you just go in and alternate pouring your colors any way that you want because the design will end up turning out as it should on its own but just continue to add your paints and i would say for it to become successful you definitely want about three-fourths of a cup of paint so here i am going with my first flip and as you can see the paint did not just automatically start to flow out of the cup. It just kind of sat there. So I definitely did not have enough paint with this first flip. And so it, I had to kind of help it along by turning the painting, tapping it, and just kind of allowing or helping the paint to move along. So yeah, I definitely did not have enough paint. So I did end up going back, mixing some more of the paint and adding it back to the canvas as you'll see here 
And even with adding the second flip of paint, I did not have enough that would allow it to organically just start to flow. So I still did have to go ahead and help it along, which I will say, I feel like it messes up the ability of the paint to just go where it wants to go. And I will say that I think it changed the overall end result of the painting. I still do like it because I think it came out really pretty. The end result did. And so I'm not, you know, mad at it or anything. And you saw me removing a couple of the chunky pieces of white off of there. And that did leave those streaks. So I continued to turn the painting to try to cover them. And then I just used one of my fingers to smooth paint down on each of the four sides of the painting. So with the second painting, I went ahead and found some more paint around my house. It was out of the Apple Barrel brand. I will say that this brand worked the best in my opinion. It was already pretty thin and runny. And so I used kind of the pastel colors that I had on hand and mixed them together. Now, one thing I will say and suggest to you guys if you do use this brand I still suggest adding the soapy water to it I did not and it affected the painting at the end because it was thick on the canvas and if you have too much paint on the canvas it can cause the canvas or the paint to crack on the canvas so again I would suggest adding the water to each color separately and then adding them together, combining them, and then doing your pour. This pour also did not completely just start to free flow, so I did end up also helping this. I just did not end up with as much paint as I should the second time either. So I helped it along, moving it, tapping it, and kind of letting it just run off the sides. And this one turned out very pretty and pastel-y, Kind of reminded me of those Easter colors. And as I was saying, I didn't quite have enough paint to cover it. So I just this time decided to use the cup and drip anything I could out of the cup onto the corners of the board. And that way the main pour of paint would just merge with it. And it really created cool border at the end once it dried together and i don't think i said this at the beginning but you just want to use four turned over cups to prop your painting on while the paint drips off of it okay so with my last painting i decided to use the brighter of the colors i used an orange a green a white and just tried to make this painting as bright as possible because I wanted, oh, and also I used the purple. I wanted this one to be, I definitely didn't want it to be pastel like the last one. I kind of wanted it to be more in the family of the first one that I did. So that's why I used that color combination. And you just go ahead, I learned from the last time, I added my soapy water to each of the paint colors. And then I went ahead and started combining them. And this time I also did just go ahead and combine it into the white that I had thinned out just to save on a cup because by that point I had gone through so many, so many cups. <laughs> and as you can see, my hand is covered in paint. This is a very messy project. So you definitely want to put down a tarp or something to catch all of the excess paint. So with this flip, this one was way more successful. I was not so great in my technique because you saw the paint spilled out. But at least with this one, there was a lot more paint to cover it. And I think that I had just realized that I had turned them the last few times. So I turned it on this one too. But I really think I should have just let it go ahead and organically flow out and let the design happen as it was going to and I shouldn't have actually touched this one because I literally did 
have enough paint for this last flip and it I think the colors are really pretty on this one it kind of reminds you of like the oranges remind you of kind of like volcanic activity it, it's just really pretty and this was the aftermath of all of the paint that had dripped down from the three paintings all right and here is the final result i did give the paintings about 24 hours to go ahead and fully dry because that is a lot of paint <laughs> that'll be on the canvases but i do really think they came out very pretty what do you guys think and i wanted to go in really close just to kind of show you guys some of the detail on the paintings and to show how the color combinations ended up they had some really pretty cells that appeared on each one and you can see on this one specifically the lumps that i was talking about from the white paint from afar you can't really tell too much but up close it adds texture and this is the more pastel -y one you can tell that i may have had just a little bit too much paint like thick in areas because you can see that it did start to crack but this one did come out pretty flawless like i said this is the one that had the oranges the purples the blues and it really kind of created a landscape maybe something that you would see from space the oranges really remind me of kind of a volcanic activity with maybe a river kind of flowing up to it it just really created a work of art the color combination worked really well with each other and i ended up going ahead and using some of those small canvas boards i also got those from the dollar tree and just laying them into the additional extra paint that was at the bottom that i showed you guys and created two more smaller canvas drip paintings although i didn't really drip onto them i just went ahead and laid it into the paint and then kind of pulled it out but here's the finished product you guys i had so much fun making this project it was extremely messy but well worth the effort because the end products are really pretty and there's so many different color combinations that you can create and make with this so the possibilities are endless I hope you guys go ahead and try this project out. It was so much fun and it was extremely messy, but well worth it. If you guys do decide to attempt, hit me up on haiku underscore creations on Instagram. Tag me in any of your efforts. Remember to keep sharing these videos that I make. We want people to be able to join us each week for my new attempts at different DIYs. Thank you guys again. I really appreciate you joining me wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you guys have a great day and an even better week. Keep creating.